Want to buy a new iPod Touch for under a dollar? How about a $200 Walmart gift card for five bucks? It's all on penny auction sites, but as consumer specialist Rick Romero explains, you may end up spending more than you expect. So they had it listed at $15.99 for the Mac Pro Book. Um, and you paid what total? I, came to, I paid less than $105 for everything. Bruce Barger is talking about the first time he bid on a penny auction. He sat and hit the jackpot winning this new Apple MacBook laptop cool. for just yeah, over $100. Since then, he's won several items, including a $25 Kohl's gift card that cost him just 32 cents. Penny auctions work differently than traditional online auction sites like eBay. The bids usually start at one penny and go up a penny at a time for each subsequent bid. But unlike eBay, every time you place a bid, you're charged a fee, usually about 60 cents. So if you make multiple bids, you're charged each time, even if you lose the auction. Even veteran bidders admit it's a bit of a gamble. A little bit like going to Vegas. Jeff Palmer of Van Nuys says it can be thrilling bidding on auctions where the winner could pay literally pennies on the dollars for items that may be worth hundreds, even thousands of dollars. He's won a number of penny auctions, including a computer keyboard, a mouse, several games, even a gram of platinum. Penny auctions don't have a set ending time. Instead, there's a clock that counts down from as little as 10 seconds. And so if there's a bid in that last second, the clock resets to 10 seconds and the bidding continues. And these auctions could go on and on, sometimes for days. It's sort of a game of chicken where I'm bidding and you're bidding, who's going to stop? And the third guy is watching and he turns away and I stop and he looks back. You want. In order to bid, the websites first require users to join and pay a fee that can range up to $160, even more. Those fees do include a set number of bids. Most Here, sites allow seven. users to yeah, place automatic bids if they're not planning on sitting this. in front of their computers. Like Take this Nikon D90 camera. The auction site Swoopo says it's worth $1,056. When we checked, the bids were up to $192.96. That means the camera, so far, has received 19,296 bids. Multiply that by 60 cents a bid, plus the current high bid for the camera, and that means Swoopo will collect at least $11,770 for a camera worth just over a thousand bucks. And the bidding hasn't even ended yet. It's a good industry for scam artists <laughs> to get into and, and exploit. Amanda Lee runs a blog, PennyAuctionWatch.com, where users post warnings about the dangers of penny auction sites. We discovered if you Google penny auction scams, you'll often find links to sites like this one, ActionNews25.com. Now, it sounds like a real TV news site, but it's actually run by a penny auction site. You know, it's just an industry that isn't, isn't regulated, and there needs to be oversight and auditing of these sites because it's just it's really easy for people to rip people off. Jeff Palmer and says what seems like an incredible bargain may not be, like when he bids several times on a wireless time. router. I finally won one, but if you take into account the one that actually won, plus all the times I tried to get it, I really paid more than I should have for it. While you may be able to pick up an incredible bargain, you can also easily overpay for items or spend money without ever winning an auction. This is Rick Romero, ABC7 Eyewitness News.